Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon our lives. And even now, we continue putting our trust in God because our God never fails. We've been looking at the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 8 to 10. And all through, we have seen what God has done to us as his children. He reminds us that he has drawn us from the ends of the earth. He reminds us that he's the one who has chosen us. We are his and he has called us his servants. Verse number 10, he's telling us not to fear. Fear not for I am with you. Again, do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What an encouragement. And as we asked ourselves previously, even today, we challenge ourselves by asking one another. As the Lord says, I will, I will, I will. Are you ready? Are you willing to be strengthened by God? to be helped by God, to be upheld by God. If you're willing and ready, you can be sure that you'll be successful and victorious. Because many times, God has given us these great promises, but many times we fail on our side as his children. The Lord is calling us to raise our trust and faith in him to another level by understanding that he is together with us. He's not calling us, you know, just for the sake. He is registering his presence with us. Fear not, for I am with you. Praise the Lord. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Not so and so's God. I am your God. You are God who knows you very well. You are God who is concerned with your welfare. Every other time, the Lord is wishing us well. The Lord is out to ensure that everything goes well with us. And as he tells us so, he promises that even when we feel as though our strength is running out, he's not referring us to somebody out there to go and strengthen us. No, he's saying, I will strengthen you. When you wonder where to turn to, whom to turn to, he's saying, I will help you. And again, when you feel like, you know, the turbulences are too much, he's saying, I will uphold you. He's not referring us to any other being out there. He is saying, I will. Brothers and sisters, this is a call to trust this helper. It's a call to trust this God who is our provider, our sustainer, our everything, our all in all. Choose to trust in God and it shall go well with you. You shall be successful. You shall be victorious. And as we say all this, the Lord has not promised us a trouble-free life. No wonder he says, fear not. Do not be dismayed, meaning that challenges will, will be there, but we are never alone. Challenges will be there, but he is assuring us that his hand and grace will always uphold us. It is good to put our trust in the Lord. And as he says, I am with you. Let us not allow our minds, our hearts to be deceived. Let us embrace the Lord's voice just as is. I am with you. Do not doubt. Allow God's word to be real in your life. When he says, I am your God. Yes, he means exactly that. May we embrace God's message. May we embrace God's word in our lives 
just as he has spoken to us, because for sure we belong to God. I wish you God's blessings, Merry Christmas, and a lovely year 2024. Let us continue journeying together, encouraging one another. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.